okay, gentlemen, it's your last chance to back out become, before coming infamous on YouTube as not knowing what you're talking about. So, death of the mosquito in three, two, one. So like, you wanted you to know, keep going when, it, every, it, when it, everyone it, else it, it, left you. just kind of got to the point where it was like, it was the same thing over and over and over again. And, and, and I was like, I gotta step it up and then everyone starts splitting from paintball and I'm like, Ooh, what's this airsoft? This is awesome. And, and <laughs> Those I just, are cooler. I know. I like, and and I'm going to jump on that. That's actually so, my next yeah. topic. It, 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 <laughs> wait till you discover real steel. <laughs> yeah, wait till you... Mm. <laughs> well, yeah, we've had some shootouts and stuff just like that. Just slice a hole in the bottom of your wallet right now. <laughs> <laughs> just, stop, uh, <laughs> stop throwing plastic, Ross. It's time to throw some brass. There's some what? I, I got some brass, but I don't know as good as you guys <laughs> in that area. And just but, give up any thought of a college fund for so, your children. You know, it's, um, and then, I, like I said, I just stepped into airsoft, and I, so far I've liked it since. It was everything that... It's a hoop. That yeah. yeah, was everything that I wanted paintball to be. Because I spent, you know, so much money on trying to make a gun look like an M4 or M16, trying to just buy it out of the box for half the cost. So, um, no, I'm going to jump on oh. paintball, paintball versus airsoft. Since Ooh. since you brought it up, um, the relationship is very interesting between airsoft and paintball. It's like um, two feuding clans in Scotland. No, it's like <laughs> Trekkies and Star Wars. That's, that's I, another good analogy. I don't even think you can find common no, ground. His name's J.J. Abrams. No, it's, it's, it's white <laughs> men versus Indians. No, that. <laughs> that's a hurtful stereotype. Um, another bleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you have this, this is better, this is better, this is why. I mean, if you really want, in my opinion, to name the two the, the differences between airsoft and paintball is one, a cosmetic um, difference between yeah. the rifles, yeah. and two, one marks, one doesn't. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I really, two is really where, where it kind of it begins and ends. That's it. For me. And I've heard the argument of so many people like to no, know they're totally different things. That's why one is a, a ranked sport and one is not. I, it's the marking. That's what makes it marking. a ranked sport. Yeah. And that, that, is that mark it. is that, that exterior. But I also authority. think because airsofters. And Milsimers loathe paintball so much that they disregard the model for the rules, the refs, the games, the structure. They disregard all of that proven model that's been established for decades and try and establish something new. They're trying to radically change the way things are that they work. And I think that's why we have so many stumbling blocks establishing teams or any sort of ranking or even a rule set commonality nationwide. Within the does there, does paintball yeah. have that? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Paintball, I, 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 paintball is a lot more organized. Team like on. It, it would like, have the, to be. Yeah. Well, there's again two different styles of paintball as well. There's the turning, you know, which is the inflatable bunker. Speedball. You know, yeah, speedball. Right. And then there's this. I've played before. I'm not completely. The, wood, okay, yeah. the woods ball yeah, scenario, ball. which right. is right. the millsim. What we like to do. do. Yeah. So we did um, more of the millsim version of paintball, but from what I've noticed so far, I've only been two years in airsoft. I mean, I can't, you know, talk for everybody, but it is that paintball is more, we have structure, we, we have deadlines, we know, you know, if we're going to go to an operation, we know, like, you know, you're going to have money in by this day to buy your tickets to get in, you know, mm -hmm. you know we're going to fly out to a flight, you're going to have money in by then. You know, just, there's, there's no special concessions for getting into a tournament, like, it's a hard cutoff date. Yeah, I mean, it's just like boom, 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 and everyone was organized, and they usually had, each team had a great team leader or captain who organized all that and then it trickled down to captain xo blah 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 and from what i know there's not as much it seems like a lot more drama in airsoft compared to like paintball as well like, i don't know yeah. if that's I, 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 I mean i wish i had someone else at the table to talk with authority on this but i don't know about that because i think i see more one-on-one -on -one or team rivalries that are public that can sometimes result in all-out brawls in paintball. So, I mean, I don't even think there's that much difference in the drama spectrum. I mean, I've, I remember rivalries where someone, you know, overshot somebody or shot a dead guy or... Well, I mean, there is the shared drama. It usually only comes down if, say, the team splits. Not even that, just from team to team, you know, what the actions of I, one on I, the field. I've well, I mean, it, yeah, it, it is still guys shooting at each other. Mm -hmm. And it does kind of sport. It does kind of hurt. And one, I mean, from what I what I've seen when I played paintball, and what I've seen from paintball players since, is that paintball players are a lot more violent in their actions and the performance of the yeah. sport. 
than airsoft players are. Mm-hmm. Airsoft players are kind of chicken shits. I mean, I've watched a, a paintball. I was like, oh, okay, you know, this is how it works. Okay, you, you pull the trigger, you point at the other guy, the other guy goes, eh, I'm dead. Um, yeah, much more violent yeah. in, in the game. Not in like a, you know, Not like brutal a, or... a curb stomping kind of right, way. Right, but they're... But in the, in the performance of the game, they're much they're greater violence of action. Mm-hmm. Uh, airsofters tend to be a lot more reserved. And that's, that's one of the things... Like I mentioned, when you talk about their, they they hate it and loathe it so much and disregard it so much that no one will even take pointers or, you know, something that's established. Because paintballers do when they train and they prep for tournaments and they practice, they practice aggression drills. And because it's not a military tactic, airsofters go, "That's paintball. We're it not is. paintballers." I, I mean, and that, that's the funny it's, thing is, actually, it is. Mm-hmm. I would love to get. Two football helmets and two pugil sticks out to our pickup games, and just spent 15 minutes running people through this. Like, go there, what? Hit them. It was a great. Why? Game. Just cause. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, when we did scenario games, our operations, um, did we would have our birds there for a squad. That was usually the speed ball. Like, you go out and just create havoc, and you would be the front line guys. They would just run out and just, <laughs> just lay as much pain as they can. The coat, as the more the mill simmer guys would do more of the flanking tactical maneuvers. And we would be, you know, once we got in position, it was aggressive. We just, right. we lit them up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah which, which we largely don't see a lot of in Airsoft. Mm-hmm. Is there's this, they play this game of whack-a-mole mm-hmm. where they peek out and shoot and then hide. And then the other guy peeks out and shoots and then hides. It's like, if you will move forward, you can kill him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you move forward with a friend, you can kill him. And, and I, there is that I see as being a host. I see there's a lot that's lacking in that area. Yeah. I mean, oh, oh, oh my God, it, it totally is. And that's, when, that, that's what I've kind of stepped away from playing a lot and started doing a little more training. And one of the things I'm trying to do more of is, is getting people to understand and inspire people to understand that violence of action and doctrine counts. It, it has an achievable, measurable result. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm not always successful at it. Um, but I mean, I don't have anything against paintballers because I'm not like threatened by them or anything. They play their game, I play my game. If they want to come play my game, great. If I felt like going and playing paintball, I'd go play paintball. I I don't see what the animosity is between the two, really. I don't, I mean, I I came from a paintball background. Um, My biggest hurdles was uh, uh, cost. Um, I mean, in- entry into airsoft is significantly less than to play on repeatedly on a week. Yeah. Ammo, the gun, it's a rechargeable yeah. battery. I don't have to go get my tanks filled somewhere. Yeah. You know, you have these pros and cons of either. You know, with with paintball, one of the things I miss is the marking, and then also, yeah. you know, cover gets torn up around you. You get shrapnel. You know, when it hits the barrier in front of you, it's mm-hmm. like. Oh my God. Um, but it, the the team that I played with, some of the drills we'd use was when we were advancing down, you know, whether it was a speedball field or a woods ball field. It was, you know, naturally when, you know, you have your adva- guys advancing and then your overwatch, you know, bounding up, they're going to want to get to your cover. The rule was two guys couldn't share cover. You know, the guy coming up is going to bump the other guy out. And if it's out into fire, or unless your butt's moving to the next hard cover, you're moving. How many times do we see like this CQB stack in you know a well, wood, well, at, at, an outdoor at, game uh, where it's like there's this bunker and there's like eight airsofters behind it going no wait dude my foot my shoe you're flagging me I mean <laughs> yeah no there, there's one tree and there's eleven people <laughs> yeah. hiding behind that tree yeah. that's what I, <laughs> you know like we're perfectly out of the line of sight <laughs> they can't see me behind this one tree I mean yeah. I want to get behind one fat guy that's good <laughs> yeah. oh they're great for reloading behind cover. <laughs> Thank you, Wally. <laughs> <laughs> in spirit. In spirit. I never saw him on the front lines. So I don't know what you're talking about. But I mean, so as someone who's like strictly airsoft, and I guess there's two of you. Yeah. I mean, you've seen it, and I have heard, you know, it escape your lips. This is not paintball before, so. Um, I've played paintball. I never played competitively. I I never really got a gun. I used to go every so often with a, a group of friends and just Rental. just play. Yeah, and that's what I did. Yeah. I think that that helped me get into airsoft and kind of do more shooting sports because I I really enjoyed it. But the cost was, you know, it was a lot more expensive than all of my other hobbies. And you're balancing, um, so the cost was a major thing for me. Mm-hmm. I. I do, I would probably agree with paintball is a more aggressive, more violent sport. And I loved that part of it because it was an outlet to just 
you know, unload on. You know, you're you're running it full Mess speed because it right. might hurt. <laughs> um, whereas I think airsoft, sometimes you get the baseball mentality where it's like, well, I just hit a home run, so I'm gonna walk. Oh, I, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I've watched I've watched your entire damn team walk calmly in the fire. <laughs> I, I I have done this. I am very guilty of this. We're getting I don't even say it. You sauntered in the yeah, fire. I, yeah, I probably did in the fire a time or two. I tell you what. This um, um, my one frustration I've had with airsoft since I've gotten into it is where's the aggressiveness? The yeah. aggressiveness, you know. And I'm like, go to that bunker there, please. You know, Noah, get your ice cream sandwich ass up. <laughs> get over there. It is I. <sighs> And it's, you know, I, it, but, you know, I'm like, okay, they have, you know, I have to separate, you know, like, okay, I'm coming how many years from paintball, but, you know, it's just, you have to kind of kindly, oh, well, I guess you're going to be aggressive. It's, you're it's, aggressive. It's but not kind. It's, People yeah. don't want to be happy. People want to be satisfied. Yeah. And when you said that it's more established, it's more organized, you know, um, one of the things that is absolute in paintball, you know, from... <laughs> fields to players it's, an esta it's established is the mask i do I, I have decided i do want to be the guy that shoots their eye out i'm lawful evil baby i'm good for it I, <laughs> show me the eye that you want to lose i'm willing to take it <laughs>